The last few days in Syria was marked by a serious military escalation in the north of the country. Members of pro-Turkish militant groups supported by Turkish combat drones and artillery launched an attack on the town of Ayan Issa, controlled by the so-called Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF. The SDF is a Kurdish-dominated armed group that receives financial, weapon, and training support from the United States. Turkey considers the SDF to be a terrorist group due to its links with the Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK. Tensions between the SDF and Turkish-led forces in northeastern Syria are a source of the permanent instability. The attack on Ayan Issa started on December 18th and lasted until the evening of December 20th, but resulted in a total failure. The only tactical success achieved by pro-Turkish forces took place in the Ayan Issa countryside, where they briefly entered the villages of Musharifa and Jable, located in a de facto no-man's land. Nonetheless, even these villages remained a contested area. As of December 21st, the situation in the countryside of Ayan Issa remains relatively stable and no side conducts active offensive operations. So far, the only impact of the Turkish actions is the increased presence of the Syrian army and the Russian military police in the area. Abandoned by its main backer in the face of another Turkish attack, the SDF is forced to continue a slow rapprochement with the Damascus government and its Russian allies.